Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is to help you back up your Radio Master TX16S to OpenTX Companion on your computer. And I'll show you how to set the Companion up so that you can do this. So let's switch over to my computer. Now let's set up Companion for our TX16S. Now you need to go onto the website uh, to download the latest Companion, which I will leave a link in the description below. But the first thing we need to do is to go to, if we go to settings and we go to radio profiles, you can see I've got my FreeSky X Lite and my Jumper T16 on here. Now what you need to do is when you've, after you've downloaded this is go to settings, radio profiles and add a radio profile. Okay, the first thing we need to do is give the radio a name. So Radio Master TX16S. We then have to pick the correct radio type, and that is here, TX16S and the hall. Okay, the language obviously is English for me. Now the build options, what I did notice, there is no option on the T16, uh, you have an, uh, to pick the option for the internal multi module, but this one, obviously it's, it, it comes with it completely, so it's not an option. So, but the options I choose, I know heli because I do not fly helicopters and then I need the lure. Now we go on to other settings. Now we need to set up a, a well you don't have to but I do set up an SD structure path. Now if you click select folder and then I put my radios in a folder all of my radios and there is the radio master and then we need to look at the SD card structure we need to choose that so I'm going to chip, pick this uh, folder here and we click and it will be added. And then we can select a backup folder. So we go select folder. Now I'm going to sl select the radio backups and select that. Now down here, default stick mode, there are four modes. Now I fly mode one, so I will select mode one. Now you can pick whichever one you fly, which most is either one or two. I fly mode one because I'm old school. Then the default channel mapping, I'm going to keep as RETA because I use the same on my FreeSky um, Tyrannus x Lite and my Jumper T16. Now we need to go OK. And now if we go to settings again and radio profiles, there we are, we're on the Radio Master. Now what we can do is download the Lotus firmware. Now we're going to go back in and back our radio up. So what I suggest when you get a new radio is you back up your firmware, but we're going to go through that. But for now, let's click on the check for update icons icon, and you'll see it says firmware OpenTX, sorry, OpenTX TX16S, Lured, uh, non-heli, English does seem to have been downloaded, does not seem to have been downloaded. So there is the version 2.39, which is the same as our companion. And it says, do you want to download it now? We're going to go, yes, we will download it. And now we're going to save it in the, uh, if we go to my Radio Master one and under firmware releases and then click. Actually, what I'm going to do, I normally put here the version. So at the end, so I know which versions because I keep all of them. So we are going to put 2.3.9 there. That's how I do this. So I know which version of the firmware this is. OK, save. You could overwrite it if you wanted to, but I like to keep them. Now it's going to check for the download. Now that should have downloaded. Let's go and have a look at the directory and see if it's there. I'm going to go into my Radio Master and Firmware. And there we go. There's the OpenTX file downloaded. Now we need to make a backup of our radio. So we've got all the settings as it was when it was brand new. So let's plug our Radio Master in. We first need to turn it on. Welcome to OpenTX. Plug your USB-C into the top USB port and then plug it into your computer. And you'll hear the computer detected. Well, firstly, we have to, on the front of our screen, we need to scroll down. You've got two choices, USB joystick HID and USB storage SD. You need to scroll down and click enter. Now you'll hear my computer detect the radio. We now need to make sure that we're on the right radio in our OpenTX companion. Now I've got three radios. You may have 
only you had to set up one like I've showed you to do already. I have three radios set up in OpenTX Companion, so I need to make sure I've got the right one. So we go to settings, radio profiles, and you can see I'm on the correct one. Now, we've got these icons down the side here. If we point at them, it'll tell us what it does. So that's read models and settings. Now we don't want to do that yet. Go down to here and you can see the red arrow means write firmware to the radio. So we are going to go to the next one, which is read firmware from the radio. So click there. Now mine has automatically gone to the firmware releases in my radio master directory. I'm going to name this file original firmware. Firmware TX16S and then we're going to save. Now we can check everything's okay by going and having a look at the directory. So if I go down here, Radio Master, Releases, and there you can see I've got the original firmware. That's great. Okay. The next thing we can do is back up the models. Now we don't have any models on there because this is a brand new radio, but there are some demonstration ones. But let's go through that. We'll back that up. So what we do is we go to the second icon down, read models and settings from the radio. So if we changed anything on our radio or, and the actual change anything on our models, the, this is how we would save it. So we're going to click there and you can see the all the models that are on there have come up. Now these were already on my radio when I got it, but now it's got a doc one name. We need to go file, save as, and then, okay, we don't want to go into that radio. I want to go into the Radio Master, and then I'm gonna to go to Radio Backups, and then I will just put the date on this. So I'm gonna say TX16S, and the date today is the 22nd of the 9th, 20. And then we save. Now again, we can go, we can close this, we can go and check our directory and make sure it's there. And there we go, there's our backup. So we now have the firmware, the original firmware and the original, uh, the backup of the models and radio settings. The, Radio settings and models backup will come become important later once you start putting your all your different models onto your radio um, because if you don't save them then something goes wrong you're going to lose them. Now let's update our firmware on our TX16S. Now I know the firmware is is actually the latest on the radio but I want to go through the process to show you how to do this. Now the first thing we have to do is put our radio in bootloader mode and this means you need to Get out of the trim one and trim four and push them into the middle and then turn your radio power button on. So you turn the power button on and then you, you let go. And immediately it will come up with this window here. So then, because there are several ways of uh, updating your firmware, I prefer to do it via companion. So you just now plug your lead into your computer and then we're ready to go. We can now go and look at the uh, companion. So here we have two options. We can click here, which says write firmware to radio, because I know the icon, or we can go to the top where it says read write. Click there and say write firmware to radio. Click that. Then you make sure it is the correct one. As you can see earlier on, we renamed it and we called it 239, uh, two, sorry, 239. So we know it's the correct one. I check the hardware compatibility, and then say write. And you'll see the firmware's been written to the radio. Ignore that. There you go, flashing done. So don't be panicky if something like that happens, just let it finish. And if we say close, now, on our radio, it says USB connected. So all we do is disconnect, okay? And then go to exit and our radio Welcome will, to open TM. will reboot. Now, if you wanted to check if it was different, if the firmware has changed, you hit the system button, the system button, and you page across 
to the last page and there, I'm not sure if you'll see this on the computer, but it is, it's saying 239, uh, 2.3.9. Uh, so we have updated our firmware successfully. I hope you found this video useful and I hope it helps you back up your Radio Master TX16S. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below I'd love to hear from you and please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now, bye.